singing, baking, and most of all, decorating. We all know that we use different symbols to decorate our houses and Christmas trees during Christmas. Have you ever wondered what the candy cane, holly berry, mistletoe, gifts, etc. signify? Well, now my friends are going to talk about those symbols and their significance. It's hard to go anywhere during Christmas without seeing stars hanging from street lamps or sitting on top of Christmas trees. The star is one of the most recognizable symbols of the holiday. It represents the star that appeared in the sky when Jesus Christ was born. Five years before Jesus Christ was born, Samuel, the lamb had prophesied of the signs of the Savior's birth, including the appearance of a bright new star. The Christmas star symbolizes the star of Bethlehem, which according to the biblical story, guided the three wise men and shepherds to baby Jesus. The star is also a heavenly sign of a prophecy, fulfilled long ago and the shining hope for humanity. Christmas lights remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. They can also remind us to be light to others and to help others come into Christ. For centuries, candles have brought brightness and warmth to the seasons. Candles can also represent the light of the star that appeared at the birth of the Savior. And like the other lights, remind us that He is the light of the world. The nativity scene depicts the night Jesus was born. His humble birth is ultimate sacrifice. We all know that Jesus was born in a manger with shepherds accompanied with their animals like arts, sheep, lamp that kept the baby warm dead in the night. It also consists of the three wise men who came to visit the newborn king with significant gifts. The true message of Christmas is to give up one's very self, to think only of others. He was born in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The term angel means messenger, taken from Greek. An angel appeared to Mary to proclaim the news of the Savior's birth. Did you know that each one of us have an angel that guides us. They sang, Glory to God in the highest, and proclaimed the good news on that first Christmas night. They surrounded baby Jesus and sang for him. Angels symbolize faith. Even before Christ's birth, priests that stayed green all year long carried a special meaning for people. A green thriving tree in the dead of winter reminded people of hope and new life. Because of Jesus Christ, we can have everlasting life. So we can choose to see the evergreen tree as a natural symbol of him and his gift to us. Bells are rung during Christmas to proclaim the arrival of the season and to announce the birth of Jesus. The ringing of bells can also be traced back to the pagan winter celebration used to drive out the evil spirits. The jingle bells used during Christmas on the sleigh tree produce a distinctive jingle. It symbolizes the beginning and end. Perhaps a better name for candy cane is candy crook. They can remind us of the stars carried by the shepherds who visited the baby Jesus. During Christ's time, a shepherd's staff often had a crook or bend at the top that was used to hook sheep by the neck to gently lead them to food or water or to protect them from harm. 
as you enjoy a candy cane, remember that Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. If we choose to follow him, he will gently lead us to safety and peace. The white of the candy cane represents the purity of Jesus Christ and the red stripes represent the blood he shed when he died on the cross and the peppermint flavor can represent the hyssop plant that was used for purifying in the Bible. The holly red berries and prickly green leaves last all year round. Holly is used as a Christmas decoration all over the world. The sharp edges of the holly leaf can remind us of the crown of thorns placed on the Saviour's head. In order to bring good luck to their homes, people decorate them with ivy, holly, mistletoe and rosemary. Holly has been used since ancient times as a symbol of immortality and good fortune. The red holly belly reminds us of his bloodshed for all of us. Christians have long seen these symbols. In fact, in some Scandinavian languages, the word for holly is Christ's thorn. Mistletoe is a parasitic plant, meaning it lives on the tree that it is attached to and without it, the mistletoe would die. The plant has long been a symbol of love and some believe the Druids use mistletoe as a cure-all. Some stories claim that it could promote fertility. The color red is used at Christmas to represent the blood of Jesus when he died on the cross. It's also represented in the color of holly berries which had pagan symbolism during the winter solstice celebrations in ancient Rome. The green signifies everlasting light and life. Romans decorated their houses with evergreen branches during New Year and the fir tree symbolizes the life during the winter. There is also a legend that says when Jesus was born on the date of winter, all the trees around the world began to shook up the snow to reveal new shoots of green. The dark represents peace of the deep and sky. It soothes and quiets our worries and troubled thoughts, enabling us to find renewal in the silence of the mind. The world is the symbol of spiritual purity. The concept of peace is relevant to Christmas. After all, Jesus was born into the world to bring peace between God and mankind. Christmas is a season of giving. Remember the wise men who came to see Jesus? They presented on him gifts. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. But the greatest gift of all came from our Heavenly Father. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We all love getting gifts on Christmas, but it makes us more happy when you give it to someone who is in need. As you open your brightly wrapped presents on Christmas morning, remember that the Savior is the true gift of Christmas. Bring happiness to others is untold joy. Us, legendary figure, hosts the traditional fashion of Christmas all over the world, bringing gifts to children. This popular image is based on the traditions associated with St. Nicholas, a 4th century Christian saint. Santa Claus is said to live at the North Pole, where he spends the year making toys with the help of his elves. There he visits mentors and children, asking for Christmas gifts. On Christmas Eve, he loads his sleigh with toys flies around the world, drawn by eight reindeer, stopping at each child's house, slides down the chimney, leaves the gifts, and refreshing himself with the milk and cookies left for him by the household's children. 
Merry Christmas, everyone. Think about it. It's a bit strange for someone to put goodies in your own socks. But like many Christmas traditions, the tradition of Christmas stockings comes from an old legend. A stocking can remind us of the importance of service. The greatest example of service is Jesus Christ. He always went about doing good to others. So take some time to think about the Savior's selfless acts of service. How can you give Christ-like service and show kindness to others? The Christmas red is the symbol of the never-ending loves of God, having no beginning and no ending. Reds are in circles made with evergreen that symbolizes eternal life. 